Getting some breaking news regarding the Fed and Charles Evans. We'll get to Steve Leesman for that. Steve. Hey, Carl, thanks. Yeah, Charles Evans, the Chicago Fed president, who is a voter this year, is forecasting no more rate cuts this year, but he's keeping an open mind to the possibility that additional rate cuts will be needed. That, says, that said, he said interest rate policy is, quote, close to the right place and the economy is generally in good shape. But a big sort of section in that regard. He does endorsing the Federal Reserve acting aggressively if, if faced with an imminent downturn or additional downside risk. And he does support proactively cutting rates if risks increase. And he says the risks that are out there right now require diligent attention. Uh, Carl, take a quick look. The uh, October Fed funds futures look at an 85 percent probability of a rate cut built in. Uh, but looking at December, uh, they've kind of dialed that out, and now they're looking for another rate cut, say, by March. So there are some people. I don't think Evans is at a point where he would dissent if the Fed decides to cut rates. But right now he's saying that he's with the forecast of those who say that the median uh, Fed officials are looking for no more rate cuts this year. Steve, really quick, were you thrown by the uh, drop in retail sales? Um, you know, I, I kind of expected it, actually. I think there was a big buildup in August, and, and I'm kind of deciding with some of the folks who think that maybe there was a bill, uh, an increase in consumer sa in, in, in August con consumer sales because of the tariffs. Maybe people front, front ran those tariffs and decided to do some buying then before the tariffs took effect. Um, I'm going to have to look at October to know if there's any real consumer weakness in there. But in some regard, this may be just a bounce or bounce down from the August bounce up. Yeah, we've been talking for a while about whether the consumer really knows the trade war is going on, David. Yeah, I know. I questioned some it's of the— It's a good I question. Mean, Rosenberg, Rosenberg in particular about saying people pulled back. Steve, I think most people don't have any idea what's going on, frankly. No offense to Well, that. you know, Dave, that said, we do poll about tariffs, and other people do poll. And we find awareness reasonably high. I think that the people who say they don't know about the tariff policies or the trade war— are in the 10 to 20 percent numbers, but but those aren't especially high don't knows or unsures when it comes to the trade war. I think people are aware of it. Um, I, I will say uh, that that it is unusual to think people would take that action ahead in August. But you know, uh, uh, rational uh, expectations would say if you know prices are going up, you would buy now. 